6 easy exercises that'll give you perfect abs. All you need is a multi-purpose abs workout and you'll see the difference in no time. But before you get your exercise mat out, don't forget that there are even more workout videos on the Bright Side of Life. Just click subscribe, turn on this notification bell and voila! Now you'll always be the first to find out all the news. But back to our training. A lot of training programs and workouts don't give great results simply because they target only one muscle group. As a result, it gets an amazing workout while the other muscles are basically abandoned. So the solution is easy. You have to train all the muscle groups during your workout and that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's begin with your upper abs. Exercise number one, splinter sit-ups. Start the exercise by lying on your back. Now sit up with an explosive movement, bringing your right knee to your chest and swinging your left arm forward as if running. Then return to the initial position and repeat the same thing for your left knee and right arm. Let's do it 10 times for each leg, starting with your right one. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wonderful. Now for the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. If you want to change things up a bit when doing this workout in the future, you can always do ab V-ups, bicycle crunches, or tabletop crunches instead. They're all great for working out your upper ab muscles and giving them definition. But now it's time for your lower abs to get their dose of training. Exercise number two, scissors. Lie on your back, place your hands underneath your hips and lift your head off the ground. From this position, lift your right leg as high as you can while keeping your left leg hovering just off the ground. Then simply change legs. Let's do it 16 times, eight for each leg. Okay, lift your right leg high, one. Now change it for the left one, two. Keep doing the same, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Amazing! You're in great shape! Once again, you can always spice things up a bit and do a mountain climber, slider pike, or straight leg raise to give your lower abs a good workout. Okay, now who wants a gorgeous six pack? Let's work on it! Exercise number three, reverse crunches. Once again, lie on your back and put your hands beneath your hips. Now bend your knees and lift them toward your head, drawing them slightly upward at the end of your movement. Finish the exercise by lowering your feet back down just above the floor. We'll repeat it 15 times, so let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nice! You're one step closer to a perfect six pack. If you want your muscles to do some additional work, you can sometimes replace reverse crunches with jackknife setups, hanging knee raises, or seated leg tucks. The results certainly won't disappoint you, but let's move right along to your oblique muscles. Exercise number four, Russian twists. Sit on the floor with your knees bent, your feet slightly above the ground, your back off the ground at 45 degrees, and your arms locked together and held away from your body. While in this position, swing your arms from side to side in a twisting motion 20 times. Got into position? Then let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Ten more to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Splendid. Don't forget that you can also do side plank dips, spider-mans, or side bends to challenge your oblique muscles a bit more. But we still have two more exercises to go. Exercise number five, plank. Pretty much every workout out there has a plank in it. And it's not surprising at all, since it involves tons of muscle groups, including your abs, which can be toned up faster than you think if you do planks regularly. So get into the upper push-up position with your elbows bent and try to maintain this position for the next 30 seconds. Let's set the timer and one, two, three, go. 
Planks complement the exercises we've done before perfectly, significantly increasing their effect. As it becomes easier for you to hold the plank for 30 seconds, you can increase the time by 30 seconds to 60 seconds, and then 90 seconds. You can even try the famous plank challenge. By the way, you're doing great. Keep going. And done. You're on fire today. But don't lose this energy just yet as I have one more exercise for your core muscles. Exercise number six, sliding pike. Before continuing on with this exercise, make sure that the floor is smooth and not carpeted. If it is, use paper plates as sliders for now, and don't forget to get professional sliders later. Start in a plank position with your arms straight. Slowly raise your hips and pull your toes up towards your hands without bending your knees so that your body looks like an inverted letter V. Hold this pose for two to three seconds and then go back to the initial position. All clear? Then let's do it 15 times. One, and hold it for a bit. Good. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now you can officially give yourself a pat on the back. You made it. And it wasn't that difficult after all, right? Oh, and by the way, good replacements for the sliding pike include bridges, superman, side planks, and many other exercises you'll definitely enjoy. So whenever you get bored of doing the same workout routine, you can just use these other exercises that target the same muscle groups. And there you go. That's your workout for perfectly toned abs. Don't forget to repeat this training session once or twice a week to enjoy the best results. You can expect an even quicker effect if you avoid fast food, sugary drinks, and other unhealthy snacks. After all, we should treat our bodies with respect, right? So as long as we take care of ourselves inside and out, we'll always look our best. But what about you? Do you know any other exercises for perfectly toned abs? And which one of these was the most difficult for you? Tell us in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this little training session, be sure to hit the like button and share the video with your friends. Maybe you'll start working out together. And for more Brightside videos, just click subscribe and join the family. See you soon.